Today is a good day. It's beautiful weather. I was really bored, and behind the SIP building, there is a huge meadow that is not used. The best conditions to build a racetrack. Unfortunately, I have no idea about it. So I looked for a second person who also has no idea. Uh, what? I had actually thought that I was only standing here to help with the recordings. Why am I in the video again now? Come on. No request? Nothing at all? No, of course not. Let's go. As you can see, we have a huge meadow here. This is building land. That's why we can still do what we want here. We just felt like having a race again. Of course, we have already thought a bit about what we would like to do here. Above all, this should be a cross-country race that is not too professional. This is not a race where only real enduros with a big tabletop or similar can take part. That would probably only lead to open fractures or similar injuries and not much fun. So we thought we'd get a little creative and build a racetrack for scooters here. Nico has already started with a plan. Yes, exactly. Nico, what do you think? What obstacles are we building in? A pendulum might be fun. A moat? A moat sounds great. You've already mentioned a tabletop, right? Yes, a small tabletop. A bank turn? Yeah, a bank turn is always important. Now we need a name. How about Machu Caracho? This is very good. Spontaneous idea. We call the event Macho Caracho. I think that's Spanish? It seems Spanish to me. Very good. With that, we'll go back to the studio and think about how best to realize it. Back to the studio. <laughs> is that a moderation like Oli Podovsky? But come on, we'll talk more right now. Honestly, if Nico and I start here now with a shovel and a rake, we'll still be sitting here in three years. That's why we got professional help. We could have used professional help a long time ago, but now we have sought professional help. We have a small excavator and bulldozer and someone who brought wooden boards. With them, we discuss how to organize this event and how to embed such obstacles in the meadow. Who are you? I am Mani. I'm a motocross rider and I will take care of the track construction. So that means you've already ridden the route. That means you also know what it looks like when you jump on the track. Yes, exactly. I've been riding motocross for 10 years and I know what's it all about. Have you ever ridden motocross with scooters? No, unfortunately not. So, this will be the first time? Yes, exactly. Who are you? Hi, I'm Alex. I will build the obstacles, seesaws and mud holes to the best of my ability. Okay. Have you ever ridden motocross with scooters? No, not yet. You're so lucky. He's also a motocross rider. You're also a motocross rider? Yeah, exactly. Who are you? I'm Julian, the carpenter. I take care of all the woodwork like hats, pendulums or wooden beams. You're a bit of jack of all trades, aren't you? Yes, exactly. I'm always enthusiastic about something like that. Would you like to ride later? Let's finish the track first, then we'll see. I'll let them do it. They know it better. I will now roughly sketch the route. Wait a minute. I think I got it a little bit here. So that the participants ride down at some point, take the curve there and ride up there again. Sure, if you can make it to the track from there. And then they're riding down there again. So back there they have quite a few. I'm back here, so the... So here this, and then this is supposed to... That, we ride around here and ride an ass like that there. So that you have something somewhere. We'll probably have to go through here three times. There is no other way. But of course, we can place it differently. So this is... Why are they coming from there? Nico, how's it going? 
Quite good. Very good. It's going well, isn't it? Yes. What do you think? How much time do we need until the track is ready? Half an hour. Then we should be finished. Yes, that's good. Then we'll be done before the end of work. Let's set it up first, then we'll have the right side up. You need to test it first. You often stand on the outside of such a curve. That's why we thought if we created a lollipop area like this, that viewers could go in. Lollipop area, because there should be a narrow path and a small round area in front. There can stand the audience and maybe a beer cart. Not just maybe. The bank curve should be positioned so that you can see onto it from the inside. Nico, it's refueled. The bank curve must be tested. You just have to start here in the front and go full throttle so you can ride really great along the top of the ledge. It's going to be great. I would say that he is faster when he doesn't ride the bank curve. Nico, when no one is looking, we drive excavators, okay? Awesome device, gentlemen. He does an excellent job. You can't complain. I think he's done this before. According to my research, he worked in construction for a few years. I'll get you! So now that I can drive an excavator, this will be taken to a whole new level. Nico, now you have to drive the other excavator. This one is even more complicated, isn't it? The excavator probably has four joysticks installed. No, the excavator also has two, but also two installed in the leg area. If you let Nico drive an excavator, I'd better go far away. It's like playing a PlayStation game for the first time. Where do I jump? Where do I hit? Money, let's be honest. Which of us is more talented? It is actually hard to compare. His job was significantly more difficult than yours. This is not how we agreed. Jesko is the bigger talent. We need more jumps. We just need more jumps. That's great. The first day comes to an end. We have accomplished quite a lot. 
At the beginning, it was still a bit chaotic, but Alex, Julian and Money did a great job. They really know what they're doing. For the first day, we have done everything. The basic framework for our racetrack is ready. We film it once again together with the camera. We are all tired, so now we go home and have a beer. See you then. For the first time you drove the bank curve. It wasn't that slow. Whew. It's really exhausting, so habe die Ehre.